Well, you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how to back up and import all your old email accounts out of Outlook Express, all your messages, uh, all your archive files, whatever it is inside Outlook Express into Outlook. Okay, so Windows XP is coming to an end soon, and uh, also Outlook Express is a bit old now. So if you want to copy all your content from that and put that into a new Outlook, then I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, also, you may be wanting a transfer from Windows XP to Windows 7 or Windows 8, which will have uh, Outlook in it, and we can uh, show you how to do that. So let's get started. So I'm going to open up Outlook Express here. Now, what you're going to need to do here first is come up to Tools and Options. Inside here, there's a little tab up the top called Maintenance. Click on that, and you should see a little tab here called Store Folder. Click on there, and this is the path where all your messages are. So if I uh, click on the control button on the on the uh, keyboard there and uh, click on C, that will copy it, okay? Control and C. We can close this off and close this off. Come down to the run box here and if I paste in here that actual path and push enter, it will open up the folder. This is a hidden area, okay? Now you can show hidden files, folders and drives and that will also let you go to here manually but this is the actual files that we need to back up now I could just copy all these files and put them onto my USB stick pen but what I'm going to do here is I want to copy the folder so I'm just going to take the Outlook Express off the end here of this path and then push enter and it will give me the Outlook Express um, folder so I'm going to copy this now yours will be a lot bigger than mine uh, because this is just a test account so as you can see it's very small just showing you the process here now yours may be gigabytes in size or megabytes in size depends on how many emails you've got now we've finished with that we can close this off now this needs to be put onto a USB stick pen or burn it to a CD or wherever it is or an external drive and then plug that into your Windows 7 machine so let's get onto our Windows 7 machine and, uh, and follow it on and finish off the job there. So I'm going to go into my Windows 7 box now. Okay, so now I'm in my Windows 7 box here. What we're going to do here is open up our Microsoft Office uh, 2007 and uh, open up Outlook. Now, there's a few people to say you can come up to File, Import and Export, and from here you can either import from another uh, program or file or you can import internet mail account settings stuff like this so we'll try this one what you're going to get if you've got a later version of this is it won't be able to do it so you click on Outlook Express go next and then you're going to get this once you get this it won't work okay so this is the problem you're going to have this problem whether you do the other way if I do yes it won't go in so there's no point so let me just show you the other one that people say you can do which you can't do if you come down to import internet mail and uh, account settings here you're going to get the same error and I think it's something to do with service packs on the uh, on the actual uh, office suite there okay now if that does work for you then you've actually imported you can browse to your folder which is this folder and import your actual Outlook Express files. If it doesn't work for you, then you're going to need to go to uh, Windows site here and get Windows Live. So I'm just going to quickly install Windows Live. And what we're going to do with this is install Windows Live and then we're going to import the files into that and then export them as PST files, which is uh, going to be a lot easier to do. So I'm just going to install the recommended part here which is going to give us everything okay so now we've got the actual Windows uh, Live Mail installed on the system we want to make sure that we've got our folder called Outlook Express from our USB stick pen onto our desktop here these are all our DBX files and we're going to import these into Windows Live Mail so we then can export them as a PST file so we can put them into Microsoft Outlook okay so that's a uh, Go to our start button here, click on all programs and look for Windows Live Mail. Open that up. 
Now once this is opened, we can come up to our drop down tab here and click on import messages. We want to make sure that uh, Microsoft Outlook Express 6 is uh, selected, go next, and then we want to browse to our Outlook Express folder, which is what we've backed up. So click OK here, go next, and you will see all folders and also select folders. So you can select which ones you want to import, but I want to do all of them, so go next. And that would have took a fair bit of time if you've got a large email account. This is just a dummy account, so as you can see, uh, it was very quick. But yours may take some time to import at that stage, okay? Click finish. Once you've got them in the system, you will see a folder called imported folder. This is where all your email tree will be, your inbox, your drafts, deleted items, outbox and sent items, okay? You can rename this once you've done that, if you wish, to whatever name you want, to call it uh, your, your local account, whatever you want to call it. Um, but if you want to export it now, which we want to do, we're going to go back to that location and export our email messages. Now you've got two choices, Microsoft uh, Exchange and also Microsoft Windows Live Mail. Uh, we're going to be choosing uh, Exchange here. And the reason why is because we want to import that into Microsoft Outlook or Microsoft Exchange. Click OK. You can choose a name, whatever you want here. I'm going to leave mine as Outlook. Click OK. It will then give you a selection of uh, stuff here, as you can see. All folders or select your folders you want to export, but I want to do them all. Click OK. Again, that will take a fair bit of time, OK? So just give it time to export those and they will be as a PST file. Click finish. Now if you did want to do the actual live mail, just in case I'll show you that method as well, this will be slightly different. You want to browse to a folder. So I'm just going to make one on my desktop here and make a folder called live mail. And we're just going to select that folder. Same thing, and it will export all of those into that folder. And as you can see, there's all the actual files. So now we've got that done, we've actually finished with that now. So what we need, we can go to our location where it saved these, and where it saves them is in App Data local um, go into Microsoft and then look for Outlook and you will see uh, the actual file here okay this is the actual file that is created Outlook PST I'm going to paste that onto my desktop here so this is the file we need now once we've got this we can now open up our Microsoft Office. I'm going to say no there for a second. Okay, so what we want to do here is come up to File, Import and Export. And uh, you'll see it here Import from another computer or file. That's the one we want to do. And then once you get here, we don't need to worry about the Outlook Express part now because we've already converted, okay? So what we can do here now is we can look for our PST area, which is this one, Personal Folder uh, File, PST File, click Next. We don't want uh, duplicates, so we do not want to import that if you want, or you can replace duplicates with uh, imported ones or you can allow duplicates to be created. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so I'm going to browse to this location here. You can see it's already opened there. Um, but what I'm going to do here is go to my desktop. Click open. And then what it wants to do is import everything you see here okay just as you want to do that so import items into the same folder include subfolders if you've got subfolders that's what you want to do click finish 
and that will then import and it will take a fair bit of time to import all your emails if you have a lot of emails okay and that's basically how you import those pretty straightforward and you can use this method to um, export a file if you wish if you want to export this and back it up you can also export uh, to a file and you can come down to a PST file personal folder file go next and it wants to include subfolders here just in case you have some and this is going to now back this up and it's going to ask you to do not uh, export duplicate items if you wish and it wants to put it there but we could actually put this onto our desktop now if we wish and put it into let's just say for instance we'll stick it in Outlook Express here for a second click OK and finish you can put your password in if you wish you do that and then basically once you go to your Outlook Express you will see your PST file back up okay pretty straightforward but that's how you can export and import and back up so I think that's going to be about it I think I've covered just about everything in this video so I hope that helps you out that's how you can transfer files and emails from your Outlook Express to Outlook it's a bit a uh, bit of a long-winded way but that's the best way of doing it in my opinion but um, I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos hit that subscribe button guys so you can keep up to date with all my latest uh, videos and uh, if you like my videos then rate and favorite them and uh, make comments if you've got any questions and I'll do my best to answer them for you so I'll see you again real soon and thanks again for watching bye for now